You know, we need fancy clothes just in case. It'd be very, it'd be kind of unbecoming to approach Count or Countess in traveler's garb. Shortly, um, I think he'd still like a proper wizard's robe, though. Put our sword away at the moment. I, I feel that might be a possibility. Okay. The game isn't immediately isn't taking that as an immediate go. All right, we'll throw more people at you. Um, well, there's Kvach. There's a deer that we could hunt. Uh, <laughs> I was just thinking we have flair. We <laughs> we can get roast venison. Um, that those trees do not look healthy. Uh, let's. What time is it? Oh, nearly three. Well, we can probably push on to Anvil. A day's journey from the Imperial City to Anvil. I think it sounds good. And we'll we'll chat with. Uh, I say we'll chat. We'll we'll um, we will visit the Count or Countess. One of the two, obviously. Yeah, it does look like this person has a spade. It's probably just a big hammer by the looks of it, actually. No, I won't. I don't want to know pain. Pain is painful. I know that much about pain. Oh, how did I miss? That's that's my line. My line. I meant to say that. There we go. It's very heavy though. Um, ooh, fur curious. I think we might already have one of those. Yes, I'm looting people's clothes. It's probably <laughs> the whole thing about. Oh, that's not becoming more arrows. More arrows. I need to take these out of me. Maybe it's not out of me. Maybe if I. No, yeah, they're in me. They're in me. I can somehow take my leather curious out. Um, off. With them still in. I mean, well, you know, we can still sell these. We can s definitely sell those. Where's, where's my, where's my, where, where, where are my legs? Where are my legs? No, I didn't. It wasn't those. I had better ones, didn't I? Okay, let's rate them by armor. Oh no, no. I must have been using those then. Belted braze. Oh, they look more travelly. Yes, I'm I'm picking things on stupid reasons. On stupid reasons? With stupid reasons, there we go. Yeah. Don't want to pick up all the flowers. They might they might come back. That is a potential thing. Of course. And uh oh, that's it. Stop it. It's tab to change a thing. Control to cast. It's not a control choose what you want to use. There you go. It's a... Uh, Switch the shield, actually. Alright. This Kvach. Have we already gone past it? No, there's still a way up for it. But I think we'll... Uh, we'll, we'll... We'll get to that fork in the road, and then we'll see... I have a shield. I need to remember this. Um, and then we'll see... Uh, what time it is? I mean, if it's if it's if it's I don't know five six ish, we might head in and lag the game a little in loading, possibly. Who knows? Um, but if it if it's kind of early, I think we'll just put, try and push on to Anvil. I mean, that that's the goal. We want to get to Anvil. Kvach, uh, just like Skin Grad, would just be a bit of a distraction. So. I'm hoping that's... Oh, that's just a plant. Yeah, the popping's a bit weird. I don't know if that's an OBS thing. Or if it's some of the mods I'm using. I hear people talking. Oh, it's only... F it's, it's not even four yet. I think we can push on to Anvil. And then... Uh... Oh, no. That might actually be useful. I, I might... I normally prefer third-person games. 
It's actually one of the things I found most surprising about Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines is how much I enjoyed it, even though it is a... Uh, Why are you running? Where are you running? What are you running from? Oh, the question. Right, that's Tkvach. Yeah, it's not even full. We can we can push on. Um, but I found Vampire quite exciting um, and quite interesting. Even though I, I'm not normally a fan of first-person games, I normally prefer third-person or you know just big strategy games. <laughs> I don't care about single people. Um, I see everything. So, that was actually quite surprising. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to play Oblivion. I'm currently playing it first person, in case you couldn't tell. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to do uh, further down the line. I might uh, prolong it to a bigger thing. <laughs> Got sure in! <laughs> yeah, dear. Got sure in. Got, got sure in. Got your in. I always think that. I, I was testing it around Anvil, trying to see what would happen if uh, I uh, walked away from Anvil. Ooh, wolf. Let's buff, shall we? And um, I saw that. That was what I thought. And I think I've seen a few Let's Plays where they find it. And that's pretty much my response. It's just, <laughs> it got sure in. <laughs> Yeah. Simple things and these simple minds, my friends. <laughs> right, uh, pushing onwards. Ever onwards. Spell effectiveness, 87%. Is that just for that, or is that just in general? I think we'll... Oh, I don't need healing. I was that good at taking on that wolf. I don't need, I don't need healing. Yay! Oh, what's over there? Oh, that's Anvil! Brilliant! Really close, we've done it in a day. Thought it. It's one of those things, I actually was wondering about that. I actually searched for the internet. I searched for, searched for the internet, yes, I'd lost the internet completely, didn't know where it was. Terrible. No, I, I searched for the internet. May I help you? No, I searched on the internet for how long it was, and like, no. The closest thing I find was um, a website called How Long to Beat, which is like how long to beat certain games. Oh, you made me jump. Where, where, where are you running to and from? Just backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Hmm. Unless there's some horrible beastie behind me who's going to try and kill me. Nope. Okay. So we will keep on going. Okay, I thought he might have been hostile over there, but he's he's not. He's obviously leaving a speed for some reason. Because he's armed standing at the side of the road, I thought it would be a, an attack, just like the other people who've been armed and armoured and standing, standing on or around the road. I mean, I'm not complaining. Really not complaining about that. So... Imperial Legion Men! Right. Here we are. What? What do you mean, what? That tone of voice as well. What? What? Yeah. Right. Here we are. Anvil. And there's another guy who's armed and armoured. I'm... I'm kind of intrigued by this guy. Let's talk to him. Pinarus Inventius. Pinarus Inventius. Hunter, woodsman and marksman at your service. Ooh, yes. Oh, we'll ask about uh, the Anvil Chapel attack. It's unbelievable. Right in the centre of the city. Nobody saw anything. Makes you wonder about the competence of the guard, if you ask me. Hmm. And there's also this uh, prophet, isn't there? Sure. Go down to the chapel and you can't miss him. He'll be the one outside, ranting at passers-by. 
Okay. Right. Goodbye. Goodbye. So we'll go and talk um, to this prophet, I think. Um, about this attack. We could go we could uh, we could go in and have a look, I suppose. Good to see you. Hello. I think that makes a sensible. Yeah, that makes a sensible, yes. Word choice good is. Who will help an old beggar? Can I can I Let's see what what, what happened. Ooh dear Oh dear oh dear Let's uh Let's go back outside, shall we? That did not look nice. Where? You cannot raise your eyes to the heavens to see the truth. They're written. You pour over your dusty tomes of lore. You study ancient genealogies and bloodlines. They're interesting. Look you to blood for truth. There is truth in blood, but not the truth that you seek. The truth is written in the blood of the innocent. There in the chapel of love. Can you not read the ancient runes? Asaiwe bala umarile el nadarakuvar, a curse and a threat to those who have eyes to see and ears to hear. Are there any among you who still understand the ancient tongue? By the eternal power of Umaril, the mortal god shall be cast down. Oh dear, that doesn't sound good. Cut eight wise he was. Pelinol the Blamer, champion of men, <laughs> and though dispersed, he left us a warning. Heed it. Umaril is returned, as was foretold by the head of Pelinol, to the bull of kind in those days of old. Cyrodiil. Umaril. Ah, yes, your children know that name if you do not. A dread castellan of fearful legend. Did you think him a myth? Or dead? <laughs> Have you not heard the Abadala? The what? Spake Pelinol. Beware, Morehouse. Beware! With the foresight of death, I know now that my foe yet lives. <laughs> Bitter knowledge to take to my grave. Better that I had died, believing myself the victor. Although cast beyond the doors of night, he will return. Be vigilant. I can no longer shield the host of men from Umaril's retribution. Thus spake Pelinol in the hour of his death. Will no one take up this holy crusade? Will no one walk the ancient pilgrim's way? I will. So, another one who has come to listen to the madman's rantings. What do you know of the attack? You seem to know much. This is only the beginning. Umaril has returned, as foretold by Pelinal Whitestrake, in his dying breath. Who who, who was Pelinal Whitestrake? Oh, does no one remember the old tales? Saint Pelinal, the divine crusader of legend. Alicia's companion when she overthrew the rule of the aliens 3,000 years ago. Pelinol, with the aid of the gods, fought the alien sorcerer King Umaril and slew him. But Umaril's spirit survived, and he has now returned. And, and who is Umaril? Umaru the Unfathered, the sorcerer king of the aliens who ruled over this land for long ages before the rise of men. 
He was cast down by Pelinal Whitestrake. But Umaru's spirit survived. And now he has returned to seek vengeance upon the gods. So who attacked the chapel then? Do you understand nothing? The blood speaks. I can read the ancient runes if you cannot. Asuibala, Umarale El Nadarakuva. In the alien tongue, by the eternal power of Umaru, the mortal god shall be cast down. A curse upon Umaru's ancient foes and a threat. So, how do we stop Umaru? Alas. Umaril cannot be stopped. Not without the aid of the gods, not without the Crusader's relics. Without a champion, the gods are powerless to act. But who among us is worthy to wield the divine Crusader's weaponry? I don't know who's gonna stop Umaril. Thanks for the thanks for the chat. See ya, Prophet dude. No. <laughs> Why would you do that? Like, no, I will quest for the relics. You would quest for the holy panoply of Pelinal White Strike? The legendary relics that have been sought by mighty warriors throughout the ages? 